How do you keep your lights from dimming when your bass hits? Hey everyone, this is Sean from High Tech Car Audio. Uh, we are a, uh, a small a car audio shop in Northern California, although we serve over a million customers and we've been doing this since 1984. And I, I've gotta tell you, we get this question asked a lot. Um, how do I keep my lights dimming from uh, when my bass hits, right? We, we get customers coming in here all the time saying their lights are dimming and back in the day, we, our, our solution was to put, you know, uh, a two ferret or a five ferret capacitor on there and send a customer on their way. Since then, we've come a long way. We've learned that's usually not the right thing to do and sometimes it's actually masking a, a serious issue. So the first thing I would do is say, look at your wire from your alternator uh, to your battery. Is it that, that super thin, skinny, noodle-like um, you know, wiring that, that you see coming stock on cars? If it is, upgrade it. Go to a four gauge or go to a zero gauge, which that takes me to the, the, the second point consider doing a big three upgrade. You know, when you do a big three upgrade, um, you are essentially improving the electrical system of your car without going too deep into changing alternators or doing batteries or anything like that. The third thing would be, of course, and this is the best thing, I would actually do this with everything else that I just mentioned, the big three upgrading your wiring. I would also add a high output alternator. The way we measure our, um, our, our, our alternator, the way we know how much alternator we need is we look at the amplifier that we've just installed. If I've just installed a 1000 watt amplifier, well, for every, uh, for every 100 watts, we usually rate that at 10 amps. So if you have a 100 amp alternator, um, you would think that that would sustain a 1000 watt amp. And it would if that was the only thing that it was actually generating. But you have to consider that the alternator is also it's also feeding the electrical system of the car, the power windows, the power brakes, everything that gets your car to move and get you from your, your morning coffee at your house to your, you know, your, your workplace in the day and everything in between or after that, it, it's, it's doing that. So you need to really consider that. I would say about 50 to 60% of the alternator's um, amperage is going to your overall car. So if I'm pulling 1,000 watts, I would probably want at least a, a 200 watt or I'm sorry, a 200 amp high output alternator. All right, that's gonna keep you somewhat safe. Um, you know, and if you have a very, uh, if you have a good amplifier, that actually takes me to the last point. Have a good amplifier. You know, today's Class D amplifiers are phenomenal. They're not like, um, you know, the, the, uh, the, the super loud, but, not so classy and not so soft and good sounding music. Class D amplifiers today are kind of, they've, they're replacing AB amplifiers in a massive way. About 10 years ago, we used to have, um, you know, uh, half AB amps, half Class D amps. Now the majority of them are Class D. I have seen customers um, not have to do anything with their electrical system just by upgrading their amps. In fact, a customer came in the other day, had an old kicker amp, uh, and and um, that thing was maybe a 400 watt amplifier, it was pushing 112. I upgraded him to an Alpine PDX M6 amp. If you know anything about that amp, it is a hard driving, powerful amp with a lot of like really cool stuff. You know, I won't get too much into it uh, in this video today, but it is it is very regulated, it is very consistent, and it is very efficient. So it wasn't so taxing on the electrical system of the car. Um, and it, it was interesting. His lights dimmed when he had the tiny, puny, old 400 watt kicker amp, which, you know, it served its, its time. Um, and uh, when he upgraded it to this amp, I mean, voila, you know, it was, or I should say, voila. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 his lights weren't dimming anymore. And um, he was shocked, and I was shocked, because he had thought he had done a big three upgrade, and I said, no, we just swapped the amplifier. That's all we did. We didn't even upgrade his, his, uh, his power wire or, or run a new ground or anything like that. Which, by the way, you know, make sure you have a good ground both at the battery and up in the front. Um, you know, when you're doing your grounds with your big three, make sure one is grounded to the chassis, the other one is grounded to the block uh, of the alternator. Anyways, that's been it. Uh, those are my tips on how to actually, uh, um, you know, prevent your lights from dimming and really do so much more because when you have a great alternator, you have a good big three setup, you're setting the foundation for a solid car audio system. Um, all right, this has just been a quick video doing it in the morning before we get the, the, uh, the rush of the day coming in. This has been Sean from High Tech Car Audio and I will be having more videos coming out for you too soon. All right, talk to you. Bye-bye.